When Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu addresses Congress on Tuesday, he is expected to press Israel's case for secure borders. This after he and President Obama had a chilly meeting on Friday to discuss how to restart those stalemated Israeli-Palestinian peace talks. CBS News correspondent Whit Johnson is at the White House this morning. Whit, good morning. Russ, good morning to you. The private meeting between President Obama and Prime Minister Netanyahu lasted longer than 90 minutes, more than twice the scheduled time. They emerged for public comments, revealing no major progress and a relationship that is still clearly on ice. Their demeanor was cordial but calculated. Our ultimate goal has to be uh, a secure Israeli state, a Jewish state, living side by side in peace and security with a contiguous, functioning, uh, and effective Palestinian state. President Obama spoke first, his comments measured and lacking in detail. But Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu followed with a lecture that was laser focused. We both agreed that a peace based on illusions will crash eventually on the rocks of Middle Eastern reality. His impassioned remarks shot directly at President Obama, who sat silently with little emotion. In private, Netanyahu was reportedly furious over the president's stunning proposal a day earlier. We believe the borders of Israel and Palestine should be based on the 1967 lines with mutually agreed swaps. Those borders, which are a key Palestinian demand, existed before Israel's takeover of Jerusalem, Gaza, and the West Bank. It cannot go back to the 1967 lines because these, uh, these lines are indefensible, because they don't take into account uh, certain changes that have taken place on the ground. While the two leaders acknowledge their differences, uh, and that's going to happen between friends. Both moved beyond the tension in the room and reiterated their commitment to at least talk about a peaceful compromise between Israelis and Palestinians, one that has failed to progress for decades. Israel wants peace. I want peace. What we all want is a peace that will be genuine. The United Nations, the European Union, and Russia are all now backing President Obama's vision. He'll face another tough audience tomorrow, though, when he speaks before a top pro-Israel lobby group here in Washington, Russ. Whit Johnson at the White House. Thanks a lot, Whit.